Yo, 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 what's good, people? It's your boy Fadlan Effendi, aka Ninja T, original founder, and currently, as of 12th of March 2023, acting number two of Blockchain Sensei, a multi Web3 solutions and multi financial literacy organization, Black and Asian owned. And today, it is currently um, 54 minutes past 10 p.m. UK time, Sunday, the 12th of March, 2023. What a crazy time to be alive. <laughs> I'm uh, with um, the head of fundraising at Blockchain Sensei, a shareholder, a great original backer community member, insider, Zishan Haru. Introduce hey, yourself. People? Hey, what's happening, people? Great to be here. It's going to be a great show. Going to be a lot of value being put out, and make sure you put it to use. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, before getting started, let me just tell you about the show. So this show is called Technically Speaking, which is originally founded by a guy uh, named Wukash. So blockchainsensei.com slash team. I would encourage everybody to go this. There is no I in team. Look at this beautiful team. Myself, Mr. Harding, Kish, Zishan Haroon. So Wukash is the original founder of this intellectual prop uh, of the intellectual property of Technically Speaking, which is um, a weekly show which we record on Sundays, and we rotate between you know Mr. Harding, Kish, Wukash, Storm, myself, Zishan, and we break down um, the markets. It's very, very focused on um, chart reading and uh, not just charts, fundamentals too. But we like to look at all markets, in um, including the stock market, Forex, crypto, commodities, etc., and give you our little take. Um, If you enjoy this episode, please leave a like and comment and share this on social media at your discretion. discretion tag Blockchain Sensei, myself, Ninja T, and, and Ozzy Shenroon. We're everywhere. We're on LinkedIn. We're on TikTok. We're on Twitter. We're on IG. Zishan, are we difficult to find? If anybody wanted to follow you and Blockchain Sensei and me, would that be difficult? No, we're pretty much everywhere. YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, you name it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we may not be providing this amount of value forever for free. Maybe we should do a, like a technically speaking where it's a specific time where we stream it live. Let us know if you enjoy. But yeah, what a crazy time to be alive. So um, let's, uh, let's get the disclaimer in. So disclaimer, all content is for education, information and entertainment purposes only and should not be considered as investment advice or a recommendation to buy, sell, hold any assets, nor place any trades. Please always do your own what, Zishan? Do your own research on everything yes. that we say. Yes, sir. Our content is intended and should only be used for informational use only. It is very important to do your own analysis before making any investments, which should be based on your individual circumstances. Um, always pay your bills before making any investments. You should always take independent professional advice from a professional advisor or independently research and verify all and any, any information you may find in our sh show that you wish to rely upon, whether you wish to make an investment decision or otherwise, or just take this content as, education and, uh, as, as educational and or entertainment. All investments come with what, Zishan? They come with a unlimited amount of risk if you don't do your research. Yes, there is a there is a possibility that you make an investment and you lose all of your money, which is why we encourage something called diversification to uh, reduce and mitigate risk. Um, however, um, neither myself nor Zishan nor anybody on the Blockchain Sensei team page as of time of recording, 12th of March 2023, this beautiful team, and I believe each and every one of you should try to get to know each and every one of the team also hit them up on their own uh, personal social medias respectively and, and tap into the ecosystem, man. Click the link in the blockchain.sensei IG bio and uh, pull up to our live webinars every Monday and Fridays, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. in K-Town respectively, all replays on YouTube. Um, again, we're not financial advisors. However, we are working in collaboration with several accredited advisors. None of us have accreditations. We are just cool kids on the internet. 
If you are unable to mitigate your risk, please contact us immediately so we can refer you to an accredited financial advisor. Now, I know some people have said, like, one or two people have said, there's a spelling mistake here. And Is I it? think, yeah, I think, wait, refer. Refer to a friend. Am I tripping? Yeah, refer a friend. But I kind of like the fact that that's there because that really iterates that you shouldn't be taking any advice from us. Huh. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like an on-purpose spelling mistake. Like, how can you be a financial advisor if you can't spell refer? So it just kind of, like, iterates the point. So, um, yeah, I've decided to leave that on there for, for now. Um, okay, so let's... Uh, Let's see what's going on in the chart. So let's just have a look at this chart. Um, I'm not too familiar, but from my understanding, this is the, uh, as it says, real estate select sector index. Um, just want to see what's, uh, what's going on over here because funnily enough, the real estate market and the stock market move quite similar. Now, what I can do here is I've already indicators and then all oh, not indicators, my bad. Um, compare. Had brain fog right there. As you can see, the stock market and the real estate market move pretty alike, as you can see. Kind of crazy, eh? All markets are tied together, Ian Dunlap. Um, so, interestingly enough, Um, interestingly enough, the real estate market pre coronavirus, we are below it. However, in the stock market, let me just take off all this, all these words, all these lines, all these little notes and analysis that you guys. Doesn't mean anything to you guys. One second. We're live in the cut. We're live in the cut. Live in the cut. Let me show y'all what I see. Who am I? I'm just some tech entrepreneur with a hoodie. Do my thing with magic internet money. I can't even spell refer. That's why uh, everything I'm saying is just the entertainment only. Second, remove all the support and resistance just so you can see what I'm seeing. Technical analysis is both an art and a science at the same time because it is subjective as well as often objective. So somewhere in between. We'll leave that circle there. Okay, so let me do it one more time. The real estate market is the global real estate market, according to this index, is currently on 13% drawdown. And more important than the percentage drawdown, um, we're below the, the pre-coronavirus price. The stock market, however, is not below the real estate market price. The global stock market is still up. Right, we are in a percentage upside, six percent. Now, historically speaking, the real estate market. So you see what I'm seeing: real estate, stocks, real estate down from coronavirus from pre-coronavirus times. Stock market still up. However, the stock market at one point, where was it? It was in the dumpster in October two thousand and twenty-two in the dumpster below how much percent oh six percent real estate market how much percent oh 13 percent okay cool so historically speaking if i get my compare button s-i-x-r-e Is there a correlation? Yes, there's a correlation. Let's go over here. 
and compare it the other way around. Is there a correlation? VC. Yes, there's a correlation. So what can we expect to the stock market? Well, with the news of Silicon Valley and potentially more banks going bankrupt, <laughs> could we see lows of, I'm going to say, could we see all-time lows? Probably this is a key level in the VT. This is a key level. Oh, how many times have we been in this range, dude? How many times have we been in this range? This range here is if everything continues to spiral. This is where we can spiral down to. Let it be known depending on economic conditions. Now, let's have a look at some phrase and news. Uh, we'll do USDC in a bit. Do USDC in a bit. Um, there is a very, very popular TikTok um, where there's a Caucasian guy in uh, politics and he basically describes why the banking system is a fraud. I really liked this screenshot from this TikTok. Moral hazard is a situation where an economic actor has an incentive to increase its exposure to risk because it does not bear the full cost of that risk. That sounds like Sam. Sam Bankman is a moral hazard because as a donator to uh, politics, um, you know, a lot of US politics, he... Uh, does not bear the full cost of his actions. Um, what else I want to share? Politics and central banks. I thought this was just funny. Um, and then, okay, so we'll look at stable coins later. Let's have a look at... Let's have a look at... The... Silicon Valley Bank Financial Group, like Castillo would said, would say, it's not looking good, bruv. So as you can see, the SVB or Silicon uh, Valley Bank is in the Nasdaq, and the Nasdaq is what top one hundred US tech. So SVB Financial Group ticket SIVB. In the Nasdaq, um, close that officially on the Nasdaq website, and also you've got Nasdaq here on Trading View. You always want to cross reference information, right? So, interestingly, SVB CEO sold $3.6 million in stock days before the bank failure. Well, Zishan, as somebody who is pretty good at TA, arguably better than myself. Could TA have predicted the, the, this fall? Um, let me just get that chart up on my screen. One second. S V. Yeah, do you want to... I'll make you co-host. Yeah, one second. You, you, you tell me if TA could have predicted this because my TA could have predicted this. Let me go get a coffee. I'm just at a, just at a hotel. Right back, guys. I'll let, I'll let Zishan do some quick TA on... The ticker SVB final, uh, sorry, SIVBD. SIVB. One second, one second. I'm um, just trying to find it. Majors. Let me share my screen. Oh, you better uh, let me. Uh, you are host, dude. Or your phone's host. What no, make host? my, make the, make the other one the host. I can't because now you're host. All right, one second. All right, bro, bye, guys. I'm going to get a quick coffee. Sorry. Uh, do, 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 do. Make host. All right. Let's go. Let's be...
Okie dokie, let's uh, do some TAE on this. So, so this is my first time actually looking at this chart, uh, just for transparency reasons. So let's see if I could have seen this. So we're on the monthly, let me go on the weekly. Okay, so let's go here. So here, um, I'll just show you here. So here we're making higher highs. You've got your higher high here, higher low. Uh, then you've got your next higher high over there. Could we drop, let's drop down on the daily, see if it's a bit more clearer. So that's the highest point there. Okay. So, we're making a higher high here. That's I'm so glad that you high. can do this. Yeah, you've got it. So basically, you've got so this is the peak. So you've got your higher high there. Then you've got your higher low. Then it's made a new higher high. Now, if it breaks the previous higher low, then that's a sign to you that there may be a trend shift, flipping from bullish to bearish. So what happens here? that trend has been invalidated from it's now flipped from bullish to now bearish so now we're making we've made our first lower low here um so this is actually the 3rd of december 2021 um then we make our next lower high here then we make our next lower low here uh, protected low has been broken, trends continue downward. Then we've had a bit of a rally going up. So from, so that leg is now bullish. So let me just draw it on here. So, so from here to here, we're bearish. So, but then this protected high has been broken. So now we've actually flipped bullish from, the period of 20th of December up until uh, 12th of January, 2022. Now, uh, now we've actually flipped from bullish back down to bearish now. Uh, protects, protected low, down, down, down. Then that's our first lower low. Then we've got our next lower high up here. Now, if the trend, now, if price breaks bro, this, bro, then... can I just say your TA has improved since, since literally the, la the last, technically speaking, you've been on the charts, mate. What the fuck? Yeah. Um, you're a sniper, <laughs> jeez. So, this is our, I'm protect... I, yeah, uh, it's all. I was in the charts. That's what generally makes up uh, uh, your success. Or if price breaks this point, then we know we know price is not actually going bearish. It's actually going bear bullish. So we know from the fact that price hasn't broken this, we've continued downward. So we've had a continued down downward structure. Uh, so so our next lower low is actually here. So. Generally speaking, um, you could have, in hindsight, seen this in around between January of 2022 to the 7th of March 2022. Uh, you can see it continues to go down. So lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. All right. Lower low, lower high. So, 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 lower low, so lower saying, high. So you're saying by 7th of March, in hindsight, it, it, technical analysis confirmed that the stock was going to fall, but you couldn't have expected that velocity, right? You wouldn't have expected it. So, uh, I mean, uh, you could have sold here, but you wouldn't really know if the trend was confirmed or if it was just a, if it was, if you know if the trend was just going down once and then going back up. But here, because it's made a lower low, lower high, lower low, and it's continued to go down, trends being confirmed as bullish. Whereas here, it sort of faked out. 
so you could have sorry sorry you mean you mean trend confirmed as bearish yes uh trend's been confirmed as bearish uh i mean even if you you got out got out here i mean let's just work that out as a number so from there so that is so if you didn't take profit um then that would have been anywhere from you would be down five 85%, 83%. Whereas if you did, and uh, you was an investor of this stock, uh, and you got in, I don't know, let's say around here, and you sold there, that's a 72% gain. Um, so purely from a technical perspective, you could have seen that coming. Um, let's try and, Drop it down more. Let's bring it back up. I don't really like the look of that. Yeah, there's a load of gaps here. I mean, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower low, lower low. Yeah, I mean, unless you were actually short it, it would be it would have been a great opportunity for you to actually short it. Um, let's see if there were any opportunities. So this was our last up move before the break of structure. Price didn't come back in there. Last up move before break of structure. Price came in here, it dropped down to the daily. Oops. Where is that done? So three days daily. So let's see if there was an opportunity to short it from here. Uh, let's go on the four hour. So yeah, that that's disgusting. I don't know why they would not full put the full bars in. Uh. So let's see if I can try and make it out. So you've got a higher hop. So basically, um, this was the last up move before the break of structure down here. So this is what we've got uh, called as, as, as our supply. So this is like a high probability area where institutions and big players sort of got out of the market. They pushed the price up before they... Uh, Broke structure and wanted the price to continue downwards. So, if we can go here, so if we've got a higher high, so we want price to come back in here. I'll just show you. So, we've got a higher high, then we've got a higher low, then we've got a higher high here. Now, price has broken structure here. So, now how you would have entered is you would have taken where is it gone this last leg and to the top of there and your entry so your entry would be 50 percent of this last up move so which would be here oops why have i got that and then do, 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 do. actually it's here and then you put your protected high either on this one and add a few extra pips for to account for stock losses, or you put it at the last price above above your supply zone. Completely up to you, and you would essentially be targeting uh, equal lows. Uh, or if you're quite good at trading, what you would do is you would actually uh, after every last boss so break of structure you would actually manually uh you would manually move your stop uh until essentially you've been stopped out whoa uh, whoa 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 obviously big disclaimer yeah but that's obviously a bit manual, too, man, too much for you guys trading manual trading is a, is a very very difficult skill yeah and uh should not be taken lightly like what, what you just described i've never done that in my life i'll be honest I've always, yeah. I've always I've always set trades and just let them do so. Thing. So it depends on you. So you would either set the trade, or if you if you're less emotionally attached and you're 
want to manage the trade manually after every boss yeah. move if you want to capitalize past your profit target then that's another option but it just depends on you how you are psychologically yeah. as a person but you won't know that until you're actually deep in the markets with cash so let's move on to the next topic uh do you want to do you want to go over some stuff or do you want me to do it no, 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 no. I'll, I'll, yeah, swing, swing that, swing that whole spot to you, and then I'll, 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 I'll give you the floor again in a bit. Uh, make host. You now have controls. You now have the yeah. private key. Yeah, the private key. So yeah, um, big up to Zishan on his TA. Um, I definitely would have been able to see what, 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 uh, what you saw. So yeah, you uh, Zisha has been a chart sniper. Every time I've called him this month, I'm like, what are you up to? And he's like, I'm on the charts, I'm on the charts, I'm on the charts. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, so according to Zishan's TA alone, in hindsight, you said that from January, you could kind of spot that it was, it was going to fall and definitely by 7th of March. So definitely. Definitely seven, by, by March, you would have known that trends being going down bearish so it would have been a great time for you to get out if you were holding stock days before bank's failure do you think he has some inside information yeah probably so then we go to the silicon valley bank um um official twitter because uh, it's got a blue tick um oh no well, this is silicon valley bank okay yeah, no. um, where's, where's the american one do they have a, do they have an official Twitter? Hmm. Do they have a? No, I'm not. I, I don't. I don't want the UK one. Silicon Valley official Twitter. No, this no, is not it. I'll put in Silicon Valley Bank. Of course. Yes, <laughs> or Oh wow! <laughs> what did uh, what did Elon Musk say? What's, what's Elon says? He's, he said he's did he say that he's interested in buying it? Yeah, I think someone retweet tweeted something and then he replied. Yeah, well, all these are. Maybe he deleted his tweet. Replies. Uh, or maybe it's Photoshop. Yeah. Elon Musk. Possibly. Bank. Oh, it's, I think. Is it that one? I'm oh. Where's the where's the, where's the original tweet? Yeah, that was on the eleventh of March. That's when they tweeted that. But if I go to his actual Twitter, he doesn't say anything. Eleventh, eleventh. I mean, that's the tenth. Tenth. Yeah, it's probably so, Photoshop. Yeah, like you're always gonna look at the original source. And then, like, I don't think he's the kind of person to reply and then delete his tweet. Like, it, 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 is, is Elon even known for that kind of behavior? No, I don't think he would. You don't read people's character, right? There we go. He's literally not commented. Like, we can literally see on his Twitter, he has not commented. Yeah. On this situation, has a good thing that Storm Trustworthy is trending. Valley will die Monday. Is a good thing that Trustworthy is Wait, no, wait, wait, wait. Ah. 
to be fair, he's interacting. But anyway, we can't find that exact tweet, so we can't confirm or deny. But um, yeah, basically, I don't see Silicon Valley, sorry, Silicon Valley Bank. I mean, this is the apparent what? UK department or something? Silicon Valley Bank UK? I'm assuming these guys have something to do with the American bank. It might be the UK arm of the business. Sorry. Yeah, that's that's what that's all I could think is that it might be. But I can confirm. I can't confirm nor deny. Funny though, SVB UK is a trusted and valued partner of the entire innovation ecosystem. A joint statement from a number of leading UK in support of SVB. What are these guys saying? I don't know who these guys are. Um, but yeah, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. So let's move on to, let's move on to, because I think let me pump this in off. Um, Silvergate. Silvergate stock. Didn't I have someone watch this? It's also not looking good. Do you want to do a quick TA on this one, mate? Silvergate Capital Corporation. These are the two uh, stocks that I missed hard, so we definitely got to slice them down. Let me just get that up. Silvergate Capital. Is that the one on the New York Stock Exchange? Yeah. 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 Right, let me make you know. Is the is it the one without the cap? Is it the one that's yeah. on mute? Yeah, the one uh on mute, correct. Okay. Let me read up on these guys. Okay. So so the gate back. Let's have a look. See what I can digest. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. This is maybe a little bit more clearer. I'm go to the three. Today. Yeah. That is... okay. okay so really basic yeah. so for you guys so as you can see price is going from the bottom left of the screen towards the top right of the screen the up. so we're making higher highs higher lows so we've made a new higher high here it's made it's bust broken this structure and then we make a new higher low here so make sure we don't get confused so <laughs> We're only interested if price either breaks this and continues up or breaks this low and goes down, which we do get. So then it makes a high, high low, it makes a lower low. Now. It makes its first lower low here. And that was a lot higher low. So, then we put that here. So we're only interested if price breaks this low or, and if it's and continues bearish or if price uh, breaks this uh, protected uh, break, breaks high 
you hire, which we do. So that's our boss to the upside. We've made our first higher high. And the higher low there, you could say. And then obviously, because it wicks higher on the lower time frames, these would, these would be body closes. Um, yeah. And then breaks this low from bullish now back down to bearish. So we make our lower low, first lower low here. Then we make our next lower high there. Then our next lower low. So it either breaks this low or breaks this high. So it actually breaks this low as you can see. Everything is down bearish. Yes. Lower low, lower high, lower low. So it either breaks this or it goes up. It makes a new low high. Not really a high. Probably put that. Yeah. Okay, that's a lower high, and you've got a new lower low. Then it flips from bearish, now back down to bullish. But it's just a one-off bullish high momentum, uh, as we passed on. Uh, that's a higher high. Then it breaks this low. That's our protected low. Oops, protected low. And can continues down, back down to bearish. So, let's do some quick analysis charts. So you can see just purely from a structural point of view, from here it's bullish, then it flips bearish, then it goes bullish, then bearish, then bullish, and now back down to bearish. So that's a bit of TA on Silvergate Corporation. Now I'm going to touch yes. upon the interest rates of yes. Bank of England and also U US interest rates. So the current uh, interest rates for Bank of England, the United Kingdom, is currently at 4%. Uh, they last increased it on the 2nd of February 2023. And currently, as it stands, uh, the US Federal Reserve who's in charge of uh, monetary, monetary policy in the United States of America. They've kept uh, interest rates at 4.75%. Now that's that. Now, uh, I'm gonna go over this. So on, on the 10th of March, uh, the dollar weakened after US jobs data suggests slower rate hike path. Now, wait, I'm wait, wait, you wait. Because, yeah. news, news just in, news just in from Wall Street Trapper, even though the two Silicon Valley banks have been, well, been fucked basically, so Silicon Valley Bank itself and the Silver Day, the uh, Super Crypto Reserve, uh, sorry, Super Crypto Focused, um, it's been announced, according to Wall Street Trapper, that anyone who had money in the Silicon Valley Bank will get 100% of their money back um, from the Federal Reserve. AK yeah. FDIC. Oh well. But I'm pretty sure I saw Janet Yellen saying they wouldn't bail out uh this bank. But hey ho. Maybe uh, not maybe uh, not Silvergate, but but SVP. Yeah, um SVP UK holds three billion of uh, venture capital backed firms. Survey finds. Uh now on Monday it's going to when the market's open back up. There's going to be a lot of uncertainty in the market unless politicians and government officials calm the market. Uh, yeah. 
Uh, and then Ripple CEO, they, ha they had an undisclosed amount of cash in Silicon Valley Bank. So that could poss possibly affect the price of Ripple. Let's just have a quick look at uh, Ripple RP. So, so Ripple, is this, oh, let me just get on the one for that. Features. XRP. Okay, okay. Let's go on the one So right now, price of XRP is $36. Last time it was $36 was... First of November 2020. Um, and then I want to go over. So uh, this was a press release at uh, 6 15 p.m. American time. Um, the Federal Reserve Board announced it will make available additional funding to depository institutions to help assure banks have the ability to meet the needs of all their depositors. Now, it's interesting to note that the Federal Reserve doesn't just hand money out to banks. Banks have to give a collateral to the Federal Reserve in the form of uh, U.S. Treasuries, agency debt, uh, mortgage-backed securities, and other qualifying assets as collateral uh, in order to meet the shortfall of liquidity in the market. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. I'll hand it back over to you, Ninja. All righty, all righty, all righty. Uh, make me the host, please. Oh, shit. I'm going to get kicked out here in like 20 minutes. Okay, so... Okay, mm, mm, mm. yeah, I was just reading about, about Silvergate. Founded in 1988, Silvergate ventured into crypto in 2013. The bank had also operated a mortgage warehouse business, but announced in December it would be winding down that vision, citing the rising interest rate environment and reduction in mortgage volumes. Amazing. Well, not so amazing now, obviously, but... <laughs> Great vision from what I can see. Um, no bailout for Silvergate, but bailout for um, Silicon Valley Bank. That's cool, cool, cool. Enough about Silvergate. Uh, let's talk about USDC. So, USDC is almost back to a dollar. Fantastic. We're almost back. Um, let's break it down. When where did all the madness occur? Where are the crazy candles? Let's break it down to the minute. <laughs> let's have a look. What a crazy time. What a crazy time to be alive. Oh, wow. It was bloody in the streets. Yeah. We had entire... We had, we, had, we, had, we, had, we had entire minutes whereby she was moving like Forex. <laughs> we'd, go from, we'd go from 96 cents to 92 cents in one minute. Can that even happen in Forex, dude? Say that again. Like, would would that even happen in Forex if you do like USDC to euros or something like? Can you can you even move from ninety six cents to ninety two cents in Forex? Is that is that even possible? I I don't think it would be possible. Um, just because it's a much bigger market and it's a lot harder to move unless collective institutions pull yeah. together to move the markets. Is it our own one percent movements possible in forex? Our what? Our what movements? 
one percent in like one day or something. Um, if this high impact news, then most definitely they will be. What's like the most volatile that's happening forex? Like, I mean, there's obviously the Russian the Russian currency that dropped by a lot. But like, let's let's take like USDC versus GBP. Is is that doing like two percent in a day? Like, can can the pound drop by two two percent to, to to the dollar in one day? Uh, let me just have a look. Yeah, have a look. But yeah, um, I'm not gonna do any crit. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not gonna do a higher high, lower lows. This was basically just economic. This was basically crazy. So, why did all of this happen? Why was USDC apparently according to Trading View at one one at one point eighty two cents? Oh dear, oh dear, that wouldn't have been good. Um, okay, so. Let's have a look at what even makes USDC. According to their website, you can go to circle.com slash transparency. They say they have this much in cash, which is 11.1 .1 billion, which is basically 25% of their reserves. Quick maths, 32.4% in short dated US treasuries. Um, can we break down those treasuries? Can we break them down? Relation mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Okay, so what's very, very interesting is it says here the US Treasury Security, but I mean, unless we're going to Google all these companies. We don't know what companies these are. Uh, I believe they are US Treasury bills. So it says, okay. uh, so, like, so like the one at the top, it says that's going to mature yes. on the 19th of yes. January. Yeah, this is, and this is, I mean, th this is already matured. This yeah, is that's happened. already matured. So the next one is, that's already matured. So, it's currently 12th of March, so the next one, it's possibly... Well, oh, remember, this, July. This, this, yeah, this is... This is, this is, this is yeah, this is um, American, so, so the, the month is on the left side, and then the day's in the middle. So all of these have happened. Oh, I mean, wow. this actually, no, this is about to happen. So like but, 500, but, 600 million. Yeah, but it's only um, it's only, I mean, this number here is thirty three billion, right? Well, thirty four, basically. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, th th thirty four. But this isn't even one billion. This is yeah. this is five hundred ninety five million. Yeah. So less, you know, it's like zero point six billion. So. Uh, da, 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 da. so I kind of like how they're super transparent. I don't believe USDT does this. I could be wrong though, but I couldn't find. Or if USDT do this, they don't. They don't make it as accessible. Well, one thing I like. Harder. Yeah. What well, one thing I like about Circle is that, unlike, unlike, um, the Silicon Valley Bank. These guys have actually been pretty um pretty transparent. So let's read this quick string. Following the confirmation at the end of today that the wires initiated on Thursday to remove the balance, we're not processed yet. 3.3 .3 billion of 40 billion USDC. But if we look here on well not but and if we look here, 40 billion, right? And uh that's the mark that's the market cap. And three point three billion, so that obviously makes like seven percent. So it makes sense that it fell. I don't know why it fell by eighty one, by by um, uh, by like nineteen percent. But unless suppose, a lot of people were shorting it. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people were shorting it, and then look look at the time as well. Um, we're currently filming this at like eleven p.m. The eleventh. This was three eleven, so it's pretty responsive. Um, like other customers and depositors who relied on SVB for banking services, Circle joins calls for continuous 
continuity of this important bank in the US. Um, so Circle publicly are in support of SVB being um, saved. I do believe SVB have a good chance of being saved uh, simply because uh, venture capital is one of the most important things in the world in the sense that in the sense that if you look at all major companies like Apple, Microsoft, NVIDIA chips, Intel, almost all major companies in the world went through some kind of VC round. So if you're trying to be one of the biggest companies in the world, you basically can't without VC. Yeah. Um, all right, cool. Uh, that was a thread. And then even the CEO is pretty public. So this guy is on the global policy board of Circle, not the CEO, though. It's good when the CEO comments directly. <laughs> Jerry Muller, co-founder and CEO of Circle, open the internet platforms, crypto, Bitcoin, globalism, human and civil rights. It's interesting how all these kind of like big crypto guys are seemingly so altruistic, like Vitalik and his you know, yeah. dream of yeah. immortality. Update thread, this is literally 20 minutes ago. Update thread in the USDC. We were heartened to see the US government and financial regulators take crucial steps to mitigate risk extending from the fractional banking system. 100% of deposits from SVB are secure and will be available at, at banking open tomorrow. 100% of USDC reserves are also safe and secure and we will complete our, oh, it's looking good. With the closure of Signature Bank announced tonight, we will not be able to process minting and redemption through Signet. Additionally, we'll be bringing on a new transaction banking partner, so we get in place. A much longer thread will be coming with some reflections on all the past weeks. Remember to make up for negative market sentiment USDC holds on right to participate in the USDC grid distribution, claiming his life or gift and get a gift. Let's claim a gift. And get some free. I don't I don't mind some free USDC. Oh wow. All right, cool. I'll claim a gift in a bit. Don't know what gift is for. Um all right, so back to the charts, back to the charts. Let's have a quick flick through. Let's have a quick flick through. Uh... Come on. Get me on the... Ah, oh, why are you doing this? Let me go get my mouse one sec. That pad's too slow. What's the time? Definitely get kicked out here very soon. 746. Yeah, hotel closed at then. All right, so or oh, there might be the they might let they might be nice because I swear once or twice I've been here since 2 a.m. till 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 2 a.m. Okay, so uh, indicators. RSI looking low ish on the daily. RSI looking low ish on the weekly. Can we expect a bounce on the S P five hundred? I think we can expect a bounce, but I don't believe we are going to hit 4299 anytime soon because uh, this, when I was doing fibs, was the 0 0.5 golden ratio. And if we do test this, we could see a fake bull trap, but definitely not a bull run. And then we're going to bleed. That's what I see happening with SPX. Um, the dollar right now, we're hitting a nice little support. Um, it's very, very interesting times because obviously what's just happened in Silicon Valley, but I do believe that globally the dollar is going to be fine and I don't really foresee much of a dollar drawdown. That's my sentiment right now. Zishan, what, 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 would, what, what would you say? You know way more about Forex than me. Do you see, do you, do you see the dollar hitting 
hitting this one on one? I mean, it I looks as though the last couple of red candles has sort of broken the structure of that big green candle. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, it has. So it looks like uh, higher high, lower low, lower high. It looks like it's going to make a new lower low now. Um, okay. My understanding. Okay. We we'll get to like these levels. All right, interesting. Let's we'll see how that plays out. Um, crypto's fine. Oh wow, look. So literally since last night, since USDC bounced up, the crypto market has also bounced up. Um, RSI hitting this very very this high over here. Last wow. time RSI was here. Last time RSI was here. What did we do? We drew down. So where where can we see crypto going? Uh I don't really see it going past either here or here. Just do some quick quick TA. Yeah. Um and yeah, nothing nothing in the macro says says crypto should be going up by much. Uh total two. Where are we? This is, this is just great. The bounce wasn't as hard, so we can we can expect all coins going up, all coins going up. Let's just see, what's the percentage bounce? Eight percent. Everything follows Bitcoin. What did Bitcoin do? Twelve percent. Where can we expect some old coins to go? Let's check out see things like Link. Uh. I think it's a bit. I think it's a bit too late now to get into trades, but maximum here to be honest. Yeah, most of, most of the games already happened. Um. Okay, guys. To be fair, I feel like we've dug into a lot, and I'm probably gonna get kicked out this whole time. But I'm happy to leave technically speaking there, unless you want to do some quick forex stuff or whatever. Um. I'm going to call it a night because I've got to get up early for the London session tomorrow. Yeah, man. It's 11.50 p.m. Technically speaking, thank you so much, guys. We appreciate you. No problem. Take care, guys.